Hey, what's up guys? It's Greg. Thanks so much for joining me here in Santorini, Greece this evening for another vlog. I want to talk about right now the difference between WordPress.com, WordPress.org, and self-hosted WordPress. Um, what are the differences and where should you get WordPress? Alright, so tough topic. Let's just jump in and let's try to cover it the best we can. The first way to get WordPress and use WordPress is to go to WordPress.com and when you do that you'll get a version of WordPress where you can do a few things like make a blog start blogging writing posts um, but you won't get all of WordPress so what they've done at WordPress.com is set you up with a really easy way to start a free blog and then you can pay a little more to have your blog do more um, so what a lot of people who want to start a blog do is end up going to WordPress.com and then you know they pay a little more to start putting videos on it or to edit the code or because they get more visitors they have to pay more because the visitors need more memory on the blog pretty soon you have someone who's paying a hundred dollars a year for a WordPress blog alright so that's one way to start WordPress um, if you just want to blog casually and you don't want to blog for a business it's great to do a free blog at WordPress.com but you can get into that sort of sticky situation as you progress um, so the other way to do it is to get WordPress.org. Now, you can't just use WordPress.org. You need to have a host. So that's where the whole self-hosted thing comes in. And the way it works is you visit a web host, like HostGator, Bluehost, GoDaddy, which many of the traditional web hosts. And what you do is you pay for a little space called hosting space and then you install WordPress onto that space and you can use WordPress.org. When you do it this way, you get to use everything. You never have to pay for you know, more add-ons to edit the code or add videos, stuff like that. You get all of WordPress software with this route as opposed to with WordPress.com where you get just little bite-sized chunks of WordPress software. They are the same software made by the same company. Um, however, it's, um, it's different ways of accessing it and uh, if you want to just blog for free it might be best to do wordpress.com but if you want your blog to do more if you want to blog professionally or start a blog for a business um, you know do e-commerce sell things from it if you want to run multiple blogs like your blog your parents blog your friends blog your company blog then you're better off uh, visiting a web host like HostGator, Bluehost, GoDaddy and just installing wordpress.org and going that route um, so I hope that gives you a general idea of the difference between WordPress.com, WordPress.org, and where a web host plays into it all. Um, let me know any more questions in the comments, and I uh, hope to help you guys explain this down yeah, below. Alright, see you there. There's so many more questions now. <laughs>